Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for the collective and it is for the full moon reading which is on the 21st of March 2023. Wow, I split the deck and we have we have love um, the two of cups here and then we have the four of wands Oh no, it's the Lovers. Sorry, this is a new deck for me. So the Two of Cups and the Lovers card. Wow, that's a lot of love. Holy hell. So this is definitely a reading collective about love and a lot of it. This could even be a very significant love here. This is something that is possibly a twin flame. That was the Knight of Cups in reverse. So somebody hasn't come forward with this love offer, it looks like collective, possibly for the new moon. Hmm. Somebody may be overindulging with something here. Could be adultery. Somebody wants to come in with the Knight of Swords, um, seizing the moment. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's get some tarot here, and this we will get some other things going on here. I've got the Kipper and the stars and the moon cards that I have. Moonology. So I have the strength card. This is Leo energy. This has to do with courage and bravery here. Mm, okay, we have the lovers again. It came out, so it was really meant to come out today. We also have the sun in reverse. So somebody may be in, maybe trying to deal with the choice about this love. They're unhappy right now. And let's see what else we get here. And with the lovers, that's Gemini energy. Okay, we have a celebration or the Three of Cups here. So perhaps they see you celebrating or maybe you're doing well in some area here. Ooh, we're talking about the Emperor here. With the Lover's card, finding the strength, they're unhappy. They want to celebrate with you perhaps. Maybe something is going well in your life. Okay, uh, they do not want to close out a cycle with the world card in reverse. So this is telling me that this is, they're not wanting you to end this out with them. They feel like there maybe is still something that needs to be said. Let's see here. And the world card is about responsibilities. So we have the magician in the reverse. So I'm kind of feeling with the magician, it's more of um maybe they you know, some type of illusion. Okay, there's the King of Cups as well that is here. So they may have had some type of perhaps they're supposed to close out a cycle with this King of Cups here about some type of illusion when it comes to you. I feel like this emperor may be trying to persuade someone else uh, not to go down a certain road or this king of cups is trying to do this for the emperor. Okay, so we have the devil card in reverse. So this has to do with freedom, ending something out with this particular person and moving forward towards something here with the Eight of Wands, possibly a proposal. Um, it could also just be moving forward towards you, collective. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, this is a crazy reading. I wasn't going to do um, the moon reading today, but I was really getting 
pulled to do this, um, felt like I, I needed to do this particular reading. So let's, let's clear some things up here. Okay, so they don't have love right now with the Ace of Cups in reverse. They're trying to find the strength to come be brave about this choice. Uh, I feel like somebody may have been in their ear about this. Yeah, they're unhappy. The Ten of Cups again here in the reverse with the Sun card in reverse. It's possible somebody has... Um, well, the Sun card in reverse can have an effect on their pleasure center, uh, possibly an STD of some sort. Um, maybe finding that whoever they made a choice with really didn't make them happy. It wasn't what they thought it would be, I feel. What's the Sun card? Yeah, this Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that didn't give their pentacle to the right person or their cup of love. This is not somebody that is, I feel like in the right energy here. What's this three of cups here, please, spirit? It's a queen of pentacles in reverse. She may be having unhealthy behaviors here, possibly jealousy or um, not really good with their money. Ooh, now the lover's card in reverse. Now, this is the emperor we're talking about, and he is in the middle of the reading, the heart of the reading here. And with the lovers, he's feeling like he has no choice in some type of decision when it comes to love. And he's, he's trying to find the strength because he, see, he sees how unhappy he is. And with this particular Queen of Pentacles, maybe they party all the time with the celebration with the Three of Cups. So they may have had somebody in their ear trying to advise them, yeah, the Two of Cups. They don't want this, the Two of Cups in reverse. They This isn't ending out. And it's, I feel like, meant to. With the Two of Cups in reverse, there's no love between these two people here. There may be some poor communication or just empty, empty feelings towards this person. I kind of feel like this is a choice they made willingly at first, and now they may feel like they can't get out of this. What is... What is the magician here? The magician in reverse once again. Okay. So I'm kind of feeling like this is Mercury. This is how they think. Okay. They may be insecure, confused about something here. It may be some type of romantic illusion that they have going on here. When it comes to this Queen of Pentacles, who's this King of Cups? Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile here with with you. So they may be trying to sabotage this emperor coming in here. Let's see, somebody wants to be free here um, and something here. What is this devil in reverse? And that's Capricorn energy. That is ambition. So there's ambition here. And the magician, I mean, that is definitely Mercury and thinking. And the world is about responsibility. So somebody isn't taking responsibility for their love choice or love option here. They're trying to get the courage maybe to end this out. It's some type of illusion. And it looks like this King of Cups wants to reconcile with you. And they could be the ones sabotaging this by getting a Queen of Pentacles to come in for this Emperor. This may be somebody in their energy, um, in and around them. Aries is the Emperor. And that has to do with a passion about all aspects of their life and action. 
So the fact that they are not making this choice in love to end this out with somebody they don't have a lot of love for it doesn't make sense to me other than this other person this other king of this king of cups who wants to reconcile with you and it could be that this emperor is meant to come in for you and somebody here is sabotaging this it's a woman a queen of pentacles here in reverse with unhealthy behaviors who has a loss of success here maybe going down the drain and it looks like this may be karma for somebody here but they don't feel like they have a choice i'm thinking that this is something to do with You know what I'm feeling? I'm kind of feeling like it's maybe has something over their head or oh the empress is here. The emperor empress is free here and she's she may have already ended out this thing with this king of cups who wants this reconciliation with her. So it looks like there's a masculine and a feminine. One in the uh, feminine in the mask or the feminine in the emperor's energy and there's a masculine in the fem in the empress's energy and it looks like this empress is available she's she's free she's she's not attached to anybody and i feel like she ends this out with this king of cups who wants to reconcile what is this eight of wands here Ooh, a king of swords in reverse. This is somebody that is quite cold, um, kind of manipulative, a dictator kind of energy that's coming in here. Why is the king of swords here in reverse? Why is he here? Hmm. It's the three of pentacles in reverse. So it's kind of somebody that's lacking a teammate that wants somebody in their life but that's not the right reason it might have to do with pentacles they may see your worth here and maybe want to take something from you may not like what you do i'm almost feeling like this king of cups or this king of yeah the king of cups and the king of swords may be working together with this queen of pentacles this is this group dynamic that keeps coming in but this king of swords is stuck he's not able to come forward to you so hmm let's get the kipper and find out what is going on here hmm they're trying to clear this pathway, this emperor, with this queen of pentacles in reverse. There, There's a pathway they're meant to come down, and I feel like that's with you. We have sudden wealth in reverse here, so uh, I feel like whatever wealth they had, it's starting to go down the drain. Uh, <laughs> what is this ace of pentacles here in reverse with the sun in reverse that's a lot of unhappiness yeah message of concern i would imagine there is now i kind of feel with the eight this is something that needs to be mastered maybe there's mastery here that or resolution some type of action that needs to be done here and i feel like it has to do with coming towards you and whoever they got with this queen of pentacles i feel like they may have been duped <laughs> there's a uh, number five here and this is change okay and transformation and this is conflict um they're having some major upset here and maybe possibly fights with this person yeah unexpected income is in reverse here as well and this is number nine this has to do with fulfillment and uh, attainment and they're not able to attain this with this queen of pentacles what's this lovers here with the emperor the lovers in reverse maybe they made the wrong choice 
Yeah, this is somebody that's coming in in the distant horizon coming up here. Number nine again is that fulfillment, attainment. Yeah, they haven't come forward on this journey with this world card in reverse. They're not taking responsibility about this partnership that they're in with this person. They haven't closed this out because this is number 10 and journey is in reverse. They are maybe meant to go on this journey with you to do something in particular I'm feeling. What, what is this magician here? Magician twice. So this could be for the Empress and the Emperor here with this about the way they think. Maybe about romantic illusions. Mm. So this might be over a house here. Something to do with a house, partnership, duality, balance. Something needs to be balanced out when it comes to <clears throat> this, excuse me, this um, emperor. And... Okay, let's see what this King of Cups is doing here with this reconciliation here. Something's going on here. Now just remember, this is a general message, so this may or may not resonate uh, with you, so just take whatever parts do and leave whatever parts do not. Okay, so this, this is what I was picking up on. This King of Cups here wants to reconcile with this Empress, and they're coming up as a false person so this is somebody that I feel is superficial they may be putting on some type of act they may know of what you are looking for in a person and are becoming that that shapeshifter type of energy uh, let's see we have the devil in reverse so this Empress may be a Capricorn and the Emperor could be an Aries and with the lovers card that's gonna be Gemini as well so and these are breakups with the lover card in reverse so there's a breakup here that's meant to happen here in the distant horizon um, they haven't gone on this journey yet because this two of cups is still in reverse and the world card is in reverse. They may be having problems trying to get away from this person, this queen of pentacles in reverse. The one with the unhealthy type of, uh, yeah, the unhealthy type of, this person may be in very insecure when it comes to you. They may know who you are. Empress. Let's see, what is the Empress here with the Devil card in reverse, which is Capricorn energy? What is the Empress in re uh, the Devil in reverse with the Empress? Okay, so this person, this masculine, this Emperor is having thoughts about you, okay? They're reflecting, assessing, um, they're getting knowledge about you, and even spirituality. It's perhaps you're very spiritual. I mean, if you are watching this or if your um, emperor is watching this, they may be spiritual. So they are definitely thinking about you. And they definitely see you as the Ten of Pentacles, their end all to be all, you know. So let's find out about this Eight of Wands and this King of Swords in reverse with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't want this to work out for you. They want you to have no teammate here. Yeah, marriage in reverse. I can't make it up. This is somebody that does, this is somebody that is orchestrating all this with this false person, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling on the camera, on the microphone. I'm, I'm fasting, so uh, I always get a better reading when I do that. So, um, and I've been called to come and do this reading, and there's something here that somebody needs to know. What's this Three of Pentacles here? Why is that here? The lack of teammate. They don't want you to have somebody. 
Great fortune in reverse. They know there's some type of fortune with you, Empress. They do, or this Emperor, this person may have a lot of money. And it could be this Queen of Pentacles feels like she's going to get some type of um, income coming from this this emperor and this emperor may be the one that has the money it could be the empress but regardless when these two get together and i feel like that's going to happen because there's a breakup here in the distant horizon here when it comes to this person for them to get on this journey and i feel like they may even be the manifesting is in reverse so they may not have all the tools to manifest it's possible when they get together with you empress if this is you if i'm talking to the empress when this emperor comes in he may have to walk away from a house to come towards you he might just leave everything behind because the ten of pentacles lies with you you are the gift you are the blessing now if i'm talking to the empress your masculine is coming in here they're getting away from somebody here and they see you as the gift because they are thinking about you now if i'm talking to the emperor here you already know you need to break up with this person you have not done it so yet you know there's no more love between the two of you and it may have to evolve over a house and you're going to have to make a choice of what's more important. There's somebody here that wants to reconcile with your empress. So, and they are a false person. I feel like you may intuitively know that emperor. So, and you have all these thoughts and I feel like that is spirit coming in to tell you your blessing is with this person so this empress and there's somebody here that does not want you to get married to get to each other because they do not want this empress to get this great fortune for some reason but they are i feel like there's something blocked here but you are the gift they have to recognize that you are the gift emperor okay you're gonna have to realize there's whoever you're trying to get away from you have to end that out there is a false person trying to get a reconciliation with your empress and there's also a king of swords in this empress's life who is trying to sabotage this connection between this king of cups or you emperor so they do not want the two of you to get together to get this great fortune they do not want you to get married and i feel like you may see that this person, this empress, is your ten of cups or your ten of pentacles. So what's the pathway here? The enchanter, dream. I wish upon a dream and my dreams come true. So once they get on this path, which I feel they are because the pathway is here, okay and they may be having may <laughs> i'm feeling very uh explicit dreams about you like very specific um that they can't seem to get away from here we have the awakener wow so this person rise out of the ashes i rise like the golden sun and this is weird because the sun card is the very next card to this okay and i feel like they are unhappy where they are and their sudden wealth that they were meant to get is not coming in with this person yeah got us a balance equality and i create a faster rep, uh, reciprocal relationship so e equal give and take and I feel like this is a concern that they gave this pentacle to this wrong person. And they feel like that maybe this empress is the one who is the goddess of balance. They may have thought this queen of pentacles was, but I, I don't, or they are the balancer. Let's see. 
the inner temple, inner temple, the life lessons, and that's falling on this queen of pentacles, okay, and this unexpected income that maybe this queen of pentacles thought they were going to get, or this emperor thought they were going to get, there was a lot of celebrating here, so, and a loss of money, so I feel like it may be getting just, it's not being invested properly, it's not, going to the things that they wanted to put towards it. It's all just going down the drain. And these are life lessons for this emperor here. I go within my shadow for deep spiritual growth. So this masculine, I feel like this emperor is realizing that this queen of pentacles is just a life lesson. He was meant to learn something from her and then move on. So this distance horizon here, it may have taken a long time to get to this point. This is somebody maybe that they've known their whole life or from childhood. I kind of feel like it's been a long time. It's really hard for them to walk away from this person. What's this distant horizon here? We have the fallen star. They may feel a lot of shame here. I no longer hide my face. I step into the light and love. And there was some shame, shame here when it came to a choice in love and for this emperor. So there could be going through a lot of purging here learning these life lessons, going within with the shadow self here. And then we have surrender to this journey. And I feel like this Jade Star here, I am ready to let go with self-compassion. They may have really um, been hard on their own self for this emperor. This emperor may have just had a lot of guilt or shame that they felt when it came to you or just their life in general. And it could be that this Queen of Pentacles in reverse with these unhealthy behaviors wasn't helping this person to be in this relationship. And although they did help them to learn a lesson here, okay, and this, this emperor is really just seeing this for what it really is, the shame they're feeling, the life lesson they're meant to learn, how they're supposed to move on from this person, and because there's no love here when it comes to this person. But the world is in reverse, so they're not willing to, they weren't willing to deal with this package, but I feel now that they realize this life lesson, that they're feeling shame, and, they, and that they need to surrender to this journey. I feel like there's things changing here for this person. They are really starting to get onto this path. What is the house here for the collective, for the full moon? Ah. <laughs> All right, oh wow. Okay, this is destined to happen. With the magician here twice, this is how this person thinks. They could be insecure. There may be some confusion here. There may even be some wasted talents here. And the, uh, the diamond star here is destiny. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. So this person is starting to realize that perhaps they're gonna want to move in with you. Maybe that is why the house is here. They feel like they don't have all the tools yet to get to where they need to be. Maybe they are unable to manifest at this time due to maybe some karma they were going through for possibly not releasing this person sooner. Let's see. So they're focusing on service coming up here. This is beautiful. Okay, so we have this false person here that this empress is trying to get away from or close this cycle out with. The temple star grid, a line. I, I connect and align with my higher consciousness. And I feel like this empress or this emperor, depending on who's dealing with this king of cups, they want to reconcile with this empress, okay? So I feel like they're going to, they're, they're false. They're a false person. And they're going to say how aligned they are and that how they're connected to their higher consciousness. And I feel like this 
emperor here who's dealing with their shadow side they may need time to um, surrender to this journey um, but they know it's destined to happen and they're trying to align because I feel like there may be some protection here when it comes to this empress and I say that because of the orb here of light and she's holding this this light in her hands okay and I feel like this light here is protection from this person from this false person now for themselves if they are the one dealing with this person or if it's for this empress who is looking at ending things and this freedom there's thoughts though here from I feel like this emperor it could be by this person that wants to reconcile with her but they're the false person and I feel like if they're looking at reflecting their knowledge assessment and spirituality I feel like it's kind of um, that this is this emperor not this false person who has thoughts about this empress who has dreams about this empress they're rising and I feel like when I feel like that I feel like it's like the empress is here the emperor is here and he still has a bit of work to do to rise up to to be in her energy or her level of energy I feel like it's almost um, uh, really um, potent, I want to say, or um, magnetic is, is probably the word I'm looking for. Father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders, and this is the Empress. She is cutting out people that are no longer for her highest and greatest good. And one of them is, I feel she is very intuitive when it comes to this false person. She knows what this person is about, okay? This reconciliation with this King of Cups. And I feel like she's quite <laughs> well aware of what this person is about. And I feel like they have tried to master or bring this action to try to do this resolution but I feel like this Empress has changed to the Empress she's in the upright and so is the Emperor okay even though this King of Cups is in the upright there's still a fal false person okay they are just trying to win this person back I almost feel like they have some type of This might be um, the father of your children if you were this empress. Uh, th with the king of cups, they come up as in the upright, as emotionally balanced. And I feel like that's a falsehood. I don't feel like they're balanced at all. And with God coming in here, father of the sky, they are going to change all of this for this empress here. The huntress. Oh, okay, well, let's find out about this king of uh, swords in reverse here. This dictator, this... I feel like he's very manipulative and very cold and can be quite... Um, terrible actually mean vindictive malicious okay so we have the mirror reflect I hold up the mirror to see and accept love for all of me and I feel like this person does not have any love for themselves and I feel like you you know who this person is the temple home I no longer search outside myself for home and I feel like this person may have saw you as home they may have been uh, an ex here maybe you declined their marriage uh, proposal possibly if you were this empress this 
King of Swords may have even have asked you to marry them. And it was a way to keep you from your emperor who is coming in for you. They may have already known this. And there was these two were in reverse here. So I feel like you may have showed this person who they truly are. Um, and that they don't love themselves at all. I feel like this person has no love towards you or anyone else for that matter. Um, we have the morning star. Radiance. I shoot for the stars. Radiance is my birthright. Oh my gosh. This is crazy because this is all destined to happen and go down this way. There are lessons here that I feel like this Empress has already learned her lesson about this false person, this King of Cups, who seems to know this King of Swords. And this King of Swords has no self-love. And I feel like they might be jealous of you and what's coming in for you, well, that's destined for you. And I feel like they maybe even know what your birthright is meant to be. They may even know this Queen of Pentacles that they have put in this masculine's energy, this Emperor's energy to keep him from you. Wow. But I feel like this King of Swords is stuck. They're not able to come towards you. Okay, let's wrap this up with the moon cards here and see what comes up here for that. A new romantic cycle begins. Oh my god. This is Libra energy of balancing here. What's the awakener? The rise out of the ashes like the golden sun. I feel like this person is seeing things. Something's coming to light. Yeah, time for healing. The balsamic moon. And I, I feel like this is... This is this masculine, this emperor needing to heal some type of shame. They are needing to surrender and they're realizing there's life lessons they've learned here from this Queen of Pentacles. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So I know that came out in the reverse, but I'm going to keep these in the upright. And, um, this is the new moon eclipse so this is pretty powerful stuff here this is all crown chakra it's all purple cards that i'm getting here be bold and make the first moon the cardinal moon okay so this is wow okay so nothing is yet set in stone so and i feel like this is coming up on this emperor okay it's a mutable moon and there's still purple and blue in here so this is heart chakra or not heart this is throat chakra okay and this has to do with this journey and there's green here on the surrender card oh more purple here the new start is coming. This ending has to come about for this destiny to start to move. And this is destined to happen. So they will realize there is a new romantic cycle with you if you are the empress. And if you are the emperor, you know that you're meant to be with this empress. You're starting to realize this here with this new start coming. You feel it, I feel. You know, it's like a... Oh, Wow, more purple. There, are people's crown chakra here. I feel like this is with this emperor and this empress. With this, oh wow, a win-win outcome is forecasted on your destiny. Oh my god, and this is more Libra uh, balancing here. Okay, and uh, wow, this is crazy. This is justice coming in here with the Libra scales. What is the true? Let's see. What is this alignment here? Wow, more purple pink here. This is luck is on your side. So, Spirit is really stepping in here. Oh my goodness. A personal issue reaches resolution for this Empress. So, she is really realizing who these people around her are and why they are here and how false they are. 
And this emperor is starting to do the work and starting to do the healing, I feel, and getting rid of the shame and everything else that has come with whatever uh, healing and baggage she's needed to do. I feel like Empress, either you are the gift or your emperor is the gift here. I feel like this empress has already done this work already. I feel like the emperor is having to change a few things when it comes to certain people. I'm going to have to pause. Okay, so I had to grab the card on the floor. And this is work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. So you may have a Scorpio in your... Um, I'm feeling like this may not be the Empress. The Scorpio may be with the Emperor. And more purple. This is crown chakras. I'm almost feeling like there is some type of... Wait a second. Bottom of the deck. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So, wow, this has all happened in February for this masculine. I feel like February was the part where there's knowing to that there's needing to be some ending here. And I feel like this is when this really starts to work when it comes to these two. Uh, I feel like the people that the three other people that have been trying to keep the two of you from each other one for sure is doing it on purpose the other one is a false person these two are masculines they may even know each other and know the empress and this queen of pentacles in reverse has terrible um um I want to say um, insecurities and uh, unhealthy behaviors is he's realizing that this is somebody that knows this emperor okay and the emperor is realizing he needs to change things here to come towards this empress and maybe there's needing to meditate to find out um, what the next part is for them but somebody's the gift here and it has to do with the ten of pentacles now, this is family wealth this is generational wealth this is happiness within the family the whole family there's money so money isn't uh, a worry here um, I feel like there's balance with all this Libra energy here and then this is crazy like we have Sagittarius here Scorpio and Libra here we also have the cardinal signs so any of the cardinal signs um, let's see here what else did we have we had a few different ones we had Gemini in there we had Saturn there we had Mercury we had Aries so those may be some of the signs that are with these four people and i mean there's four people here right with the queen of pentacles in reverse the king of cups who's the false person we have the king of swords in reverse who's the dictator or control freak and then we have the empress and the emperor so that's actually five people here so could be any of those people with any of those signs here Wow. I feel like I'm meant to do some other cards here. Let's find out what your person wants you to know. This emperor. Tell me about the emperor. I'm becoming a better person, which is true. If he's doing the work, the shadow work, he's realizing his worth. I know I was distracted from your pain. So they may have felt your pain. There may be some telepathy here. You may be talking to one another in 
in a higher form here. Maybe astral travel? I'm almost feeling like you may be able to be with each other that way. You and I were too young. <laughs> this may be somebody you know from your past. Now, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles here may know you as well then. She is very insecure when it comes to you. Very, I felt jealous, jealousy here from this Queen of Pentacles towards, towards you, right? Earlier, when I was talking, the, when I was doing the tarot part, and you may, if you're the Empress, you may know who this Queen of Pentacles is from this person that maybe you knew from your childhood. I look for you everywhere. Oh my goodness. So they may, f I almost feel like there's some type of magnetic frequency here where you may even feel each other's energy when you are close by. Oh, these cards keep falling on the floor and that's kind of telling me that this is a very important message. This card that just went onto the floor is falling on the emperor so i'm just going to pause real quick sorry about that okay <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> my necklace all over the place here and what did we get <laughs> we will be together again oh my god that is on the emperor okay wow that's crazy okay let's see what else we got here new start is coming i will wait for a sign from you okay so perhaps i'm almost feeling like you you may have thought okay this person is taking forever to get here but you don't want them to come in without doing the work you want them to be balanced right so and then win-win outcome is forecasted. My life is not as together as it seems. Okay. So they may have spoke with you in the past. I'm almost feeling like a few years back. And yeah, they hid who they really are from you. Let's get one more card to round this out. Maybe two. Okay. I am afraid to contact you. So this is falling on the Empress. So she may be afraid. You, you may, if you are the Empress, perhaps you were meant to contact this person when you were in a better place or when you were ready for this type of, scenario to come through and I feel like you don't chase anybody <laughs> and this masculine this emperor might be waiting for you to contact them and but in the meantime they are working through their shame and their shadow side and dealing with these life lessons from this queen of pentacles that they were meant to leave behind there is an ending there with the queen or the lover's card in reverse so that is an ending of fighting and uh, conflict here. So what does this work through your fears? I want to tell you how I feel. And I feel like this is your emperor wanting to, because they hid things from you. And you may have felt that was shady behavior. You may even have taken that as, okay, you chose someone over me um go deal with that person then if that's what you want to do i'm not waiting for you and <laughs> i feel you even though we're apart didn't i say that magnetic like you could feel your energy when that person was near you and they you might even be able to tell when this person has been in your area or drove past your house or something along those lines this may have spooked your person in the past I have, I'm almost picking up on that like 
it might have scared them that the frequency between the two, the energy they got from you was so magnetic and I feel like it scared them. Maybe even scared you if you depending on who you are in this okay so <laughs> I mean take it out resonates right but this person is coming into your life and you may have known them from a long time ago you may I almost feel like you may have I don't know if you've ever actually been romantic with this person this may have been just a friend and I feel like that because I don't feel like it actually went anywhere. Like it may have just been in the friend zone. And I feel like maybe a few years back, maybe you were open to this and they chose somebody else. And you needed them to have this person closed out of their life in order for you to both be together. I feel like you were like, okay, if that's what you wanna do, if you wanna go back to that, then you need to do this in order for us to come together because that has to be closed out and only you can close that out. And it's possible this Queen of Pentacles here has tried in the past to keep the two of you apart there's jealousy there, major jealousy. She knows this Empress, and I'm, I'm really feeling like that. She may know this Empress and is very jealous of this Empress and does not want the person, she may even have married this Emperor here. And I feel like maybe that broke up at some point but they keep coming back together like and when you come back together with somebody that you've you're not meant to be around um, you you stunt your own growth of what you're meant to be learning I'm gonna get my green cards here and see what comes up I'm becoming a better person what is this true love is coming so there is no love in this connection when it comes to this queen of pentacles and i feel like this masculine this emperor knows this there is true love coming tune into your higher calling and that was part of these cards already so this is just kind of confirming that there is something that you two are meant to do together to get this ten of pentacles don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. And I feel like this person maybe just gave in to something instead of of speaking some type of truth. I know I felt the, the throat chakra there. There's some type of spoken, something that needs to be spoken here. And uh, I look for you everywhere. What is that, please? Spirit. Mm -hmm. she lets me cheat it's an open relationship so maybe they're not together together maybe they just are around each other and have sex and it's not it's not heartfelt it may have been for him at one point but this just makes him unhappy your choices may alter your existence choose wisely and this is falling on that emperor Okay, he if he chooses to stay in this relationship or whatever this is where this Queen of Pentacles these unhealthy behaviors here she does not have enough self-respect for herself I feel like she may be codependent here I wait for you a sign from you I feel like this masculine, this emperor is, I, I feel like he's learning something here. And with the sun card in reverse, and then the queen of pentacles right after that, he may have gotten an STD from this person that he was with. <laughs> 
So I will wait for, him for a sign from you. And then it says, surprise, <laughs> an unexpected person enters your life. And this may be this empress. I may just run into each other somehow. And this will be divinely guided. Cause, oh, this is, oh, okay. My life is as not together as it seems. And it says, come out of the darkness into the light. So this is maybe been very dark for this masculine this emperor to be around this queen of pentacles i feel uh, i don't feel like she treated him right i feel like it had to do with money or for him for money he maybe she's the one that had the money and maybe he partied and cheated and anyways if he doesn't choose correctly i feel like this Empress might just walk away for good here. Okay, so I hide who I really am from you. And a new person in your life has failed to tell you they were married or they are married. So this emperor may be married or it could be this king of cups who is a false person that wants to reconcile with this empress. They may even have been married, this empress may have been married to this king of cups at one point. I'm almost feeling so that, that could also be what is going on here. I'm afraid to contact you. What is that, please? Uh, this is almost an hour reading. I can't believe it. All right, that one wants to come. Twin flame is near there's a high frequency energy between you oh my i was picking that thank you spirit for coming through to confirm that i really felt there was um i feel you when we're apart and i i said that earlier too like there's this high frequency between the two of you and that is a twin flame i want to tell you how i feel can you Give me a card for that. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> okay, so there is always a back door. So sometimes people feel like if they're <laughs> if they get into something that they are stuck there. And I'm telling you, there is always a back door to getting um, away from somebody that you're not wanting to be with or you a way out okay is what I'm trying to say there's always a back door there's always a way out you just have to be strong enough to know that there is one okay and then taking the action to do something about it we all have free will nobody can make you do anything that you yourself haven't chosen to do okay now Oh my god. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck is spirit has granted you your wish of true love. So this is your gift. This is a blessing. Now it's either this emperor has asked for this, this empress empress or this emperor has asked for this from spirit for, to bring in their true love. <clears throat> or um they both did with you they both may have asked for this to come in and this gift is a blessing for the two of you to come together somebody's doing the work so <laughs> they're gonna surprise you you might even get that knock on the door bang 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 you know and you're gonna open the door and it's gonna be surprise <laughs> Now, maybe this masculine was a bit of a player um, at one point in their life. I mean, if they're cheating and in an open relationship, they may not be um, conventional. Maybe you're more traditional if you're this empress, or maybe the emperor is more traditional and the empress isn't. Maybe the empress doesn't want to get married, or the emperor may have not told told you they were already married okay 
and that could be that they failed to tell you they were married okay you may have even asked and said oh are you are you still married to so-and-so and that little white lie is no maybe they're not maybe they got divorced from that person but maybe they married someone else that you don't know and because you didn't ask <laughs> because you asked a specific question about a certain person they weren't lying when they said no i'm not married to that person but they may have remarried someone else okay and deleted that part of the discussion okay not telling the full truth is still a lie okay so the fact that they didn't tell you that they were married to someone else not the person you thought maybe but they are still married this may be something I feel like this Empress already knows and maybe that was why she was okay with this masculine going back and learning this lesson I feel like it's that it's to do with letting them go so he learns this because without learning this he'll never let that past person go okay this queen of pentacles without him making that choice the wrong choice okay um he would always have that person in his energy that he may have always gone back to and it may have been somebody that would have been um between the two of you for a while so they needed to to learn this lesson and I mean life lesson was here so on and it fell on the Queen of Pentacles so and there's shame here about maybe his past his past baggage he's doing the shadow work though and he is coming he's coming out of the darkness into the light so from the darkness into the light so um having that higher frequency of love because love is the highest frequency there is so but collective this has gone on for a whole hour <laughs> so please like share and subscribe and become part of the uh divine oracle tribe sorry <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> my stomach's still growling anyways <laughs> All right, you can donate. The description box is below and I have a PayPal account down there if you'd like to do that. You can also do these super thanks. Um, I will be going live soon. I know I keep saying this, but I will, I promise. I just wanna make sure my computer is protected and then I'm not gonna get hacked. So <laughs> anyhow, take care y'all and we will see you next time. All right, later, stay blessed.